Learn English by listening to the story. A Christmas Carol Once upon a time, one snowy winter day, it was Christmas Eve. Meany old Ebenezer Scrooge was in his freezing cold office. Young Bob Cratchit worked long hours there for very little pay. Scrooge said, I suppose you will want the day off tomorrow. Yes, please, sir. It's Christmas Day, said Bob. Bah, humbug. That means I will be paying you, even though you won't be at work, said Scrooge. Very well. You may take the afternoon off tomorrow, but you must start work three hours earlier to make up. As Scrooge left the office that evening, there were two people collecting money for the poor. Give my money away, said meany old Scrooge. Bah. That night, Scrooge went to bed and fell fast asleep. Suddenly, he heard a strange voice. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Come with me, said the voice. Then Scrooge seemed to go back in time. He saw himself as a boy playing with other children. They were all laughing and running around a Christmas tree. Next, Scrooge was in another place. He was older now, and he was sitting next to a beautiful girl called Belle. She was crying. I'm sad, she said. You love money more than you love me. Please go and never come back. Next, Scrooge saw a happy family celebrating Christmas. He recognized Belle. She was now married and had children. Scrooge was upset, but when he opened his eyes, he was in his own bed again. He was so tired that he went straight back to sleep. Then he heard a different voice. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Come with me. Then Scrooge was looking at Bob Cratchit's house. In the kitchen, he could see Mrs. Cratchit getting Christmas dinner ready. Her children were running around having fun. Then Bob Cratchit came in. He carried his little boy called Tiny Tim on his shoulders. Tiny Tim was pale and didn't look very well. Then the family sat down at the table. The Cratchit family were very poor, so there wasn't much for Christmas dinner. But everyone was happy that it was Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone, said Bob. Tiny Tim didn't eat very much, poor little boy. Bob held his hand. Oh, I do hope he will be okay, said Scrooge. If things don't change in the future, he will be very, very sick, said the voice. This made Scrooge sad. Just then, Scrooge heard another voice. I am the ghost of Christmas yet to come, it said. Scrooge seemed to travel all through the snowy streets to Bob Cratchit's house. The mother and the children sat by the fire. They were all very sad and quiet. How was he today at the hospital? Asked Bob's wife. He smiled at me, but he still very sick, said Bob. Then, suddenly, Scrooge woke up and it was morning. He realized he was back in his own bedroom. I've been dreaming, but what a dream. It has taught me about the most important things in life, thought Scrooge. He ran downstairs and opened the door. What's today? Asked Scrooge to a boy in the street. Christmas Day, of course said the boy. Thank goodness I haven't missed it, he said. Please go to the shop and buy the biggest turkey you can find. Then take it to Bob Cratchit's house. Here's a gold coin. Then he went out. He saw the two people who were collecting for charity the day before. He put his hand in his pocket and pulled out lots of gold coins. As he handed them over, he said, I was rude to you yesterday and I'm very sorry. I hope this helps. Come back to my office tomorrow, and there will be more, much more. Merry Christmas. Next morning, at the office, Bob Cratchit was late. You're late, said Scrooge. I'm sorry, sir, said Bob. Take the rest of the day off. No, take the rest of the week off and I'm going to double your pay every week from now on. 
Merry Christmas, Bob, said Scrooge. Bob Cratchit could hardly believe it. He thanked Scrooge and rushed home to tell his family the good news. The dreams had made Scrooge into a better person. He had learned that the truly important things in life were family, friends, and kindness to others. Thank goodness, Tiny Tim got better and grew to be a happy, healthy little boy. Scrooge became a very good friend to the whole Cratchit family and always gave the best and happiest Christmas parties. The end.